Hey guys, welcome back to the shop, the mini machine shop on Dave. Um, spindle stuff's been working good. I've had a chance to machine a few parts with it. Um, when it comes to the car, it hasn't vibrated in or out or moved at all, so I'm pretty happy with it. Still haven't had a chance to make a shorter handle I've got on order. I just got the call too, it came in from Fastenal. A quarter 28 bottom tap because I got to get to the very bottom to keep it really short on it. So, um, been working with some antenna designs here. <laughs> so, made a little bracket, some F59 fittings, BNC. Works pretty good. Uh, I wanted to, to design it so it hit a specific frequency. And it's working because I was able to pick up the International Space Station as it flew over. So I'll have the opportunity with that antenna to be able to talk to them because they do have a ham station on board for people. Um, update, uh, I've ordered the taper bearings for the lathe, the mini lathe. And turns out I thought they were coming from Amazon, but they're coming out of China from Amazon. So it'll be a while before I get them. I'm not sure if I'm going to install them, but the price was right. It was like uh, 10 bucks each, so I've got a set for $20 on the way. Uh, two clips I'm going to show here. One is on T-slot nuts, just for whatever it's worth, general education. Um, the other one, Darren, <laughs> You are supposed to dial indicate your hand threading and tapping and tell me what your results are, but I wanted to show people, um, everybody I think has seen me tap and thread on the mini lathe and how I do it and the gadgets that I use. So the last video here, I'm testing on the granite block just for myself to see just how straight the threading and tapping is. So here's the videos, guys. All right, I just wanted to shoot this quick little bit. Um, Jim Porter sent me a link to a video. He was cutting steel for the first time, and I guess he had the larger T-nut. Uh, I had to take him down so it would fit his Harbor Freight Mini Mill. Um, they do come in different sizes. So if you start searching for it and you Google T-nuts, you're going to come up with the wrong thing they're called T slot nuts um, so I did I had bought the correct um, T slot nut for the uh, Grizzly mini mill and I did post on the website the dimensions of it so this is what stores are selling if you want to buy it for the uh, mill um, also if you want to machine it down like Jim did um, there's the dimensions or where you need to go. There's also alternatives, so if you don't want to go out and find that, you can use the carriage bolt. This is a 3 8, this one's a 3816 thread, but the center piece here is pretty much so this the correct size. So all you have to do is you can clamp this guy in your vise, machine off uh, what is it? I think it's fifty thousandths per side for this particular one and then it just slides right in and you got a perfect um, perfect bolt to hold your vise down or whatever you can also get a 3 8 24 which is a nice finer thread and that's probably what I would do but um, so T-slot nuts drawings on the website and when you go to buy them you'll find that they have uh, charts or tables where they show the A, B, C, D, G, whatever, all the different dimensions. So you have something here that you can compare to and you don't have to get your calipers out and go in and measure. Well, you probably do have to measure your table anyway just to make sure it's not slightly different. So just a little tidbit of information. All right, well, let's, I have no idea what's going to happen here, how this is going to come out. I haven't tested this yet. Um... Just wanted to see just exactly how straight um, my threading and tapping is. Now this, this was done in the lathe, and I think everybody's seen this guy here. 
This was actually stuck in the spindle. The chuck was removed on the mini lathe. And, wow, man, rust? No, just marks. I'll have to clean that up. Um, this was stuck in the spindle and the final finish, and especially this, was turned while it was in the spindle, so I know this is absolutely straight. Dies placed in here, and then this is in an ER32 quarter threaded. Um, this guy is tapped same way. This is in the in the ER32. And tap is held in position, but this guy, I think you guys have seen me build this spring load. Boy, that's pretty tough. I didn't realize it was that hard. Uh, I probably should loosen that screw up a little. Well, I don't know. Don't mess with success. It works, right? It works every time. So this is putting the tailstock and the tap is running with a little crescent wrench. So let's see here. This is mainly for a machinist friend of mine who claims he can drill and tap and thread by hand real straight. I'm not sure if I can hold this that well, but uh, let's back this up a little bit. It's always heavy. Man, you can't get that thing tight. <laughs> How do you hold it? This is tight on the nut, right? Tighten the sucker down. Tight. Remember one video I said you gotta pay attention to how tight and everything is? Yeah, that's speeding in there. Okay. So take it down to level. Take it back a bit. Crank the heck out of it. Alright, so let's this back all the way, yeah. Alright, let me take it up to the block. See what the block's gonna do. Uh glad I looked in the camera. I need to come over here. Okay. <laughs> take it down. So it just kinda touches. There we go. Tap, tap, yeah. Okay. Come on solid so I should be able to that looks like that's a thou under should be able to come back and get a thou under yeah come over here mm. come off a little Ooh. and this is a stare at block why am I getting that for a reading Spin it around. What am I getting here? Oui, that was too fast to have. Oh, nice, right on zero. Alright, so these blocks aren't straight. Great. Well, in any case, you can't get. Yeah, get on the shaft. Kind of get a guess as to where it is that's straight in the block whoa wow lucky you got that on there oh yeah that's right I gotta play with the peak there's the peak take it down a bit a little bit over alright that's a little bit more over so I'm not sitting in there really straight. Oh, no, that's. What's about a half of a. of that thing? Yeah, no, I'm getting a higher reading. Alright, well, in any case, that's interesting to know. I got bad blocks here. Take this down, and I gotta take it up a bit more. There. So here we go, how straight am I? Come on, you can touch. Well? Oh, I'm tilting. Great. Alright. <clears throat> I gotta put some weight on it. Well, this is sitting around, just stick that on it. There, that'll hold it. <laughs> So let's see what it is now. There we go. A little more. Where 
Where's the peak? Okay, the peak looks like it's one and a half thou, right? Yeah. One and a half thou. And half thou. So I'm a thousandth off. The other thing I wanted to do is just see if I'm wobbling back here. So that might be hard to do. Oh yeah, you can't touch it. Can I rotate it? No. I'm going to be constantly... Okay, well, I can do it this way then. The peak right here is a half a thou. Somewhere around there. Rotate it 90 degrees, 180 or something. Whoa, right just about on it. Yeah, very close to half a thou, so I am tapping it pretty much so straight, centered or whatever. Where is it out here? Jeez, I'm, I'm within a thou here of being absolutely straight because this v-block is crooked what is this? oh, I can't yeah, I can oh, I wonder if that was off because it was moving in here that might have been it put that on there no, because the block itself was crooked which really kind of bums me out that's straight, that's straight. Granite block is straight. Come down a bit. Not moving. Alright, touch it. Pretty much so hitting zero. Yeah, it's about a half a thou. That sucks. Great precision blocks. Half thou under. And what's this side? That's zero to almost. And that goes over. A half. I don't even know what the tolerances are supposed to be on this block. But I would have thought they'd be better than that. There's something that's supposed to be precision ground. Yep, under. So this old block is... Where's the other block? I wonder if the other one's any better. There was, this is supposed to be a matched pair. They got the same serial number on. See what that does. Should be the same height too. No, it's off. This one's flat. Nice. Take it up to the zero. We're pretty close to half under. All right, so this block is good. Yep. Nice. So I have a good block and I have a junk block. I need to label that. Alright, well I just wanted to share that.